Yeah, I'm in front of the uh, parking garage now. <clears throat> Driving on Water Street towards the parking lot, the South Street parking lot. It's not really like we have a lot of potholes here. They've been doing a lot of work putting in. Um, they're going to build a gigantic apartment building over here, and they're doing a lot of work in the street for utilities. So it's not really potholes, it's utility work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the one-way street that crosses the mall this way, which is 2nd Street. I knew it was 2nd Street. Okay. So this crosses the mall this way. There's a um, movie theater called uh, Violet Crown right on the corner here. There's a really wonderful pizza place on the right. They have these uh, bumps here so that when you go over, you have to really slow down. Lots of activity, lots of, uh, lots of stuff going on down here today. It's Friday. Friday just afternoon. So here, I'm going to go back up and get on 4th Street and go down the other way. I really want to show that. And in the meantime, I'm driving by Hill and Wood, the funeral home where my dad was laid out. And then there's um, the uh, Lee Park. Right there, that's Lee Park. Gotta wait for this guy to turn. I guess I could go around the other way. But anyway, um, everything's kind of slow right now anyway as far as traffic goes. So here's Lee Park, the shroud, marble shroud, library, there's the library, cotton traffic right here, trying to get through this light. So is, is somebody turning onto 4th Street up there, that's my destination. There's a, um, there's a light. Okay. And the whole thing is a hill going down. And there are no tall buildings up here. Any place to like, you know, get that view. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, the market on, Mar on Market Street. I'm on 4th Street now. And very, very short here. It's kind of bumpy. Tiny little cut through street. Bump down here. I don't know how you could fly over this thing at 50 miles an hour. Okay, I'm on the mall now. The shoe was right there. I'm going over the other bump. And this is the scene right here. This is as far as he had to go until he hit that car. It's like, what, five, six parking, you know, lengths here. Here's the corner. Over here. Here's the wall with all this stuff on it. Back at Water Street. And coming down over here, here is the other stop sign you have to wait your turn to go through this underpass. I'm gonna wait for that guy. Although it looks like he's gonna wait for me. Okay, nope, he's coming through. Okay. So this is the railroad underpass right here. Oh, that was good. I got to see how big it is by the size of him coming through. Come over here, we're on Garrett Street. Projects. People that were screaming at the, at the Patriots, get out of my town. And that was right on this corner over here. Luckily there's hardly any traffic today. The Patriots were stuck right over here on this corner. In front of this green building. They were right here. Those poor people were standing right here. 
And then if I turn here to the right, I go over the railroad tracks back downtown. This is Garrett Square. Okay, I'm gonna go down over here, over the railroad tracks. I've showed this already in a walking tour. It's a second street parking garage, Water Street parking garage. Going over these railroad tracks. Public market. This is right over here. This is where the public market was. This is Water Street parking garage. Now I'm back on Water Street. I'm gonna go. The next thing I want to do is actually, I want to show you guys where I used to live at City Walk. Let me see, what do we got? We got uh, six minutes on this so far. I want to let it run continuously because I want to show you where I used to live. There shouldn't be much traffic down there right now. Oh, I guess I could turn. Wait for these people not to cross. She can turn on red hair. Okay. Water Street. Heading east. I'm going to be driving right by 4th Street and then the Transit Center. And then it's just a very, very short time past the Transit Center to City Walk where I used to live. Oh God. I guess this guy's going to they're building in a what used to be parking lot tiny tiny parking lot CNO restaurant is over here that's really well known in this town this is my walk this is how I walked every day this is the transit center right here all the buses pull up right here and they all make transfers there's the uh, the music pavilion. This is the Belmont Bridge. We're going underneath the Belmont Bridge. Railroad tracks along the side. And I loved walking along the railroad tracks because it was flat. Cute little train over here. The Buckingham Branch. Oh, I can't really catch it that good. I'm not trying to drive. So I don't have any more stop signs. So I get the city walk. So it's like a clear shot all the way down here. There's a, uh, there's a landmark in this town. It's called the Coal Tower. And it used to be like homeless people all lived down here. It was real dangerous. Nobody ever came down here. And then they cleaned everything up and now they're building townhouses along here. And right at the end of this row of townhouses that they're still working on, is City Walk. I lived there for two years because I was able to find a wheelchair accessible apartment because my dad had fallen and broken his hip and I had to live with him so I could take care of him. I gave up my life for two years to take care of my dad. He had a bad heart. His his heart valve finally blew out and he died right in the in the in the parking garage. I was trying to get him over to the um, emergency room. And he was having um, shortness of breath. And I knew that it was very, very critical. And he was real weak and he said, um, I think I need hospice. And I said, no, you need oxygen. Okay, this is City Walk. I lived right up here. View of the railroad tracks. This is the apartment complex that I live in. There's 300 apartments in here, and I walked 
watch them build it. And when they were building it, I said, who is going to live there? You know, I was like shocked. I could not believe that they were building this thing. And then what do I know? I move in almost as soon as I finish it. Because I needed a place where I could take care of my dad. So here's the parking garage to City Walk. And then dad died on the third level up there. And then they planted this memorial tree to my dad. And I'm going to I'm going to show you what they did. This is like so cool. I'm almost I'm almost about to turn this off cuz I really want to show you this. They planted this tree in my dad's honor because he died. He was pulled out of the car right here. That's his car which I inherited. So then probably shouldn't show you the name, but anyway. This is my dad. Veteran. He was in the Philippines when he was 19. And this is his tree. This is the only memorial I have for him. He was a wonderful, wonderful guy. So here we are, City Walk. This is where I used to live. This is my town. I'm going to shut it off now.